published 1652 edt the 16th of september 2017 updated 1652 edt the 16th of september 2017 sign of the times michael bruce has won over clients with technology property website purple bricks has been back in the headlines after another complaint against its adverts was upheld by the advertising standards authority Two people complained that its claim, viewings, we take care of them all, made in its most recent campaign, was misleading as viewings are not included in the firm's fixed fee. In itself, it is not a major issue. Purple Bricks agreed to amend the wording and the ASA says the matter is resolved. But it is not the first time Purple Bricks has come under the cosh. Just two months ago the ASA upheld complaints against the firm over exaggerated claims about how much customers could save by using its services rather than a high street estate agent. That came less than a year after it received a slap on the wrist over similar claims, and it also sparked an investigation into the business by the BBC's watchdog. All that has made for something of a bumpy ride for the firm's investors in recent weeks. Shares peaked at 514p on August 8 and have since fallen back to 389 and 3 quarters p. On the worst day, they dropped 7% after Radio 4SU and yours accused the company of exaggeration. It is worth noting that one of the major casualties of that drop is star fund manager Neil Woodford, who has a 27% stake through his funds in the business. He invested £7 million in 2014, before it listed on the stock exchange. Back in June, he said the market had been behind the curve in appreciating the company's success and there was much more room to grow in the months and years ahead. Despite the recent turmoil, shares in the firm are still worth three times as much as a year ago, when they were 130p. That is because, crucially, Purple Bricks has tapped into that all-important trend of the consumer abandoning the high street and going digital. Launched in 2012 by Irish brothers Michael and Kenny Bruce Purple Bricks offers estate agency services for a set fee rather than a percentage of the sale price, typically 1.5%. The downside is that the flat fee is paid up front rather than when a home sells, unless the seller chooses the slightly more expensive pay later option. More also has to be paid if the local property expert is called in to conduct viewings, but included in the cost is promotion across social media and the major property portals such as Zoopla and Rightmove, as well as use of the website SAP. Calling itself a next-generation estate agent, the business has impressed customers with its technology, which sends sellers feedback from viewings and enables them to see via the app how many people are looking at the home. Growth has been strong since Purple Bricks floated in December 2015. In its first full year results, for the 12 months to April 30th, revenue climbed from £18.6 million to £46.7 million. Purple Bricks' success lies in its ability to provide cutting-edge technology and innovation to its customers alongside the traditional services they expect from an estate agent. The group has more than doubled its bank of local property experts to 448. Taking it on the chin Purple Bricks adverts have drawn complaints the company gets 2.5 million visits to its website every month and says a sale is agreed on its properties every 9 minutes. It has more than 26,000 entries on reviews, website Trustpilot, with an average rating of 9.5. Out of 10, perhaps unsurprisingly, the firm is rapidly snatching market share away from high street estate agents and has increased its share of the UK online market to 72%. Purple Bricks has already expanded into Australia, where first mover advantage has seen it gain traction quickly. Now it has set its sights on the US. The firm has raised just shy of £50 million from investors to fund its push across the Atlantic. It formally launched its business there on Friday and will roll it out state by state. While it will not be the first of its kind in the US, the market there is huge. There are about 5.5 million property transactions in America every year and the commissions are high, around 5 or 6 percent. Purple Bricks needs to snag only a small portion of these sales to make this venture a success. Midas verdict if Purple Bricks can avoid further run-ins with the advertising regulator, then its share price should easily recover. Ambitious expansion plans could mean losses in the short term but, if successful, should reap rewards in the future. Traded on AIM ticker PURP contact 0207457220.